Hello, and welcome to our lesson on calculations with a change of base. So in this lesson, we're going to evaluate the questions from A to F, and we're going to write them in the form of x to the power of n, where x is an integer between 1 and 9. So we'll begin with question A, where we have 4 squared times 2 to the power of 3. So trying to add a single power, we need the bases of 4 and 2 to be the same. So I'm going to write them both with the same base of 2, because we can write 2 to the power of 2, or 2 squared, to make the 4. So this becomes 2 squared to the power of 2, multiplied by 2 cubed. So now we can use the power rule, where we have 2 to the power of 2 times 2, multiplied by 2 cubed. So this becomes 2 to the power of 4, times 2 to the power of 3, and now we can add the powers using the multiplication rule. So this becomes 2 to the power of 7. And the question B, we've got 125 squared times 25 cubed. Now we can write the 125 and the 25 using the same base of 5. So the 125 becomes 5 cubed. And we're raising this to a power of 2. And again, we can use the power rule now. So we have 5 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2, which is 5 to the power of 6. And for 25 cubed, well, we could write this as 5 squared to make the 25. Then we raise this to the power of 3. And again, using the power rule, this becomes 5 to the power of 2 multiplied by 3, which is 5 to the power of 6. So finally, we can use the multiplication rule, where we add the powers with the same base. So we have 5 to the power of 12. Do you want to try and write the questions in C and D in the form of x to the n? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question C, we can write 16 and 32 using the base of 2. So the 16 is 2 to the power of 4, which we then raise to a power of negative 1. Using a power rule, this becomes 2 to the power of 4 multiplied by negative 1, 2 to the power of negative 4. And 32, we can write as 2 to the power of 5, which we're raising to the power of 4. And again, using a power rule, this, we multiply the powers, so 5 times 4. So this becomes 2 to the power of 20. And finally, we can add the two powers, so 2 to the power of 16. And now for question D, we can write 81 and 27 using a base of 3. So 81 is 3 to the power of 4, which we're raising to the power of 5. This becomes 3 to the power of 20. And for 27, this is 3 cubed, raised to the power of negative 2. So 3 to the power of negative 6. And then we're going to add the two powers, so 3 to the power of 20 plus the negative 6, 3 to the power of 14. Okay, so do you want to try and work out questions E and F? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question E, the 27, we can write the base of 3, which is 3 cubed, which we're raising to the power of 4. Using a power rule, this becomes 3 to the power of 12. For our denominator, we can write the 9, as 3 squared, and then raised to a power of negative 2. So this becomes 3 to a power of negative 4. And now using the division rule, we're going to subtract the powers. So 3 to a power of 12 minus the negative 4, 3 to a power of 16. So for question F, we can write 64 and 32 to a base of 2. So the numerator is 2 to a power of 6 raised to a power of 3 over 2. We can use a power rule where we have 6 times 3 over 2, so 2 to a power of 9. For our denominator, the fifth root here can be written as 32 to a power of 1 fifth. We can write 32 as 2 to a power of 5, raise that to a power of a fifth. This simplifies to make 2 to a power of 1, and then using the division rule, 2 to the power of 9, take away the 1, 
2 to the power of 8. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.